doing some exploring here in Lego World, and I've discovered a caveman, so uh, this actually doesn't mean anything. He... I think I had my speakers on there, sorry if there was an echo. Anyway, so there we go, we unlocked the caveman, and there's a couple of other things that you can actually kill around here. You can pretty much punch a horse to death, and there's a, a lot of polar bears, skeletons, and other things that you can just kind of go and beat down. So, I think when you run into people, maybe not, let's see, random? Nah. I don't know what that did unlocking him, but sometimes when you run into people you can unlock parts of them. Now, something I did not go through very well in my last video, these props you can... I think I actually did this, you can buy this stuff for studs, and then you can plant it anywhere. But uh, the cooler thing, the sets here, I mean look at this, this is an actual Lego set and you can just place it down and build it. And that is <laughs> actually really cool. I wonder if they're going to sell virtual Lego sets. That'd be kind of disappointing if you had to pay real money for them, but... Uh, yeah, so anyway, once you come back to the real world here, these people, they're alive, and you can actually... The lawnmower, you can ride this around. I mean, I don't know what the lawnmower does, other than be a vehicle, so... There you go. That's pretty cool than a mail slot. I always liked these. They, they have better ones, but I always liked these Lego sets. And then the car, which I think I might have driven this. I don't, I don't remember. But anyway, that one's moving around. And then here's a cave woman. Hey, come here. Come here. Where are you going? I want to unlock you. Thank you. A little bit primitive there, I guess. Horses are a lot of fun. Jump up on top and run around. Now the building, I think I said in my first impressions, I'm not really that <laughs> good with building, so I'm not gonna be one to... Oh wow, unlock the whole house. I am definitely not gonna be one to understand much about that, but uh, you know, if you can build the Lego, then you can build anything here, so even, even this house looking at it probably isn't that complicated. But look at me inside. I kinda wish there was a first person perspective. Hopefully they'll add one later. I don't really know what their plans are, but yeah, that and a better camera. I mean, this whole house is interactive. What the heck is this? This is stuff you could never do in a real Lego set. Not that I'm saying not to buy the real Lego set, but you know, <laughs> there you go. Okay, so uh, creatures you can buy. See? Husky. Okay, so that was a dog. You can actually ride on the husky. It kind of makes you feel sorry for the husky. Okay, now these are pretty cool. I really like these. Because you can sit here and it builds it for you. And you can put them pretty much anywhere. So if you have enough of these volcanic spikes, then you can build a ginormous volcano in not really too much time at all. And it's just cool to watch that. Like his reverse poltergeist thing from Luigi's Mansion. So let's see what else I could build. Uh, Ooh, castle walls. Oh my goodness. That saves like 10 trillion hours of time for me because anytime I play one of these games, the first thing I do is build a castle. Pretty cool tree. A cupcake. Let's build the castle. I want to see that. There it is. Let's do that one. That one's cool looking. Holy cow, that thing is huge. Uh, sorry trees. I don't really like you. Okay, let's put you over there then. Let's see how long this takes. Oh man, I'm getting 13 frames per second right now. And my system is not particularly weak, so that's pretty funny. It, it doesn't really mean anything, it's still... It's pretty smooth, actually. Game runs pretty well. Haven't had any major crashes uh, besides the first first impressions video I made, which I couldn't upload because the game glitched out, crashed, and then... My recording crashed, and Audacity crashed. I don't know what that was about. Alright, let's go check out this castle. Go away. Thank you. Oh no, the game is struggling. Pause the game and change the performance. I'm good. Skeletons up on top. Oh yeah, okay, so here are the skeletons I was talking about. Get to fight some of them. That is cool. 
I don't know if skeletons have lungs, though, or voice boxes, so I don't know how they're screaming. There's a tree in the way. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is awesome. How much work would this even take to build on your own? That is insane. Although, as soon as you get used to actually building stuff, it's not too bad. I just wish the camera was better. It's just... It, the camera does not cooperate. It works well enough, but it's missing that thing. Alright, now let's get into actually building stuff. So, I went over this a little bit in my last video, but I'm gonna do it a little bit more in depth here. So, you wanna come on over to the building blocks, and... First thing, you may want to consider kind of finding a terrain, so you can... It's not here, where is it? Uh, this one. Okay, so tools, you can build terrains, add terrains, remove terrains, so I can take that out of there. Or I can add it, and I can make it a sphere if I wanted to. See, this is what I'm talking about, the camera. I can add a sphere there. Now, if I don't like that, I can come here and kind of smooth it out, and get it smoothed down there, or maybe I can... Uh, lower it. It's right there. Maybe that's a little bit too high. Okay, so I don't really like how that looks. So again, I'm gonna come back to the smoothing tool and rough out those edges and then... Well, that looks pretty well like it was blended in, except, you know, all that's a little bit different. So then, say I wanna build something. Well, uh, it's not quite flat enough, but I don't really care. Let's get on over to the brick building. So here you can allow it to overlap the bricks if you want to get some interesting effects. I'm not going to do that. And of course you get to choose all your colors and you get here are some of your most used bricks. You can actually, I believe you can drag, can you? No, okay. I thought you could, dragging just scrolls up and down. I thought you could drag these down into here, but anyway, click on one and then you can scroll in after you <laughs> unlock the random red hatter that's right there. Okay, and then you can just start placing bricks all you want. Now you probably want to scroll down and get a basic platform going so that way you can uh, you can kind of move the camera. See, it's uh, the camera just doesn't really work well. And this I kind of wish was better. I'm trying to get it attached to the edge there. So in the event that that happens, sometimes it's easier to put one of these beneath it and then you can get, oops, let's make it white. And then you can, okay, well I thought it would make it easier. Let's try it from a different angle. Yeah, this is most of the time spent building is trying to get it together correctly. Well, let's just put it over there then. I don't even think that one... Oh yeah, it did. Okay. So then, I don't know, let's say I wanted to make kind of a little hut. It's gonna look absolutely atrocious, but it's not... it's not completely my fault. And if I wanted to add a second floor... I don't know why that's there. Go away. So you can pick stuff up and drag it. Of course, it doesn't really want to work either. <laughs> right clicking will uh, get rid of it and come it back, bring it over here. Okay, now let's get this thing back. I think that's the one that I had. Okay, there we go. This will be easier if I would just set it to use my arrow keys to move this stuff around. If I'm even allowed to, I'm not too sure I can yet. Okay, so then maybe I want to add some bricks onto the sides. And I can kind of give it that old style brick look and mix it up a little bit here. So, you know, overlap it every now and then. And I'm not going to spend too much. I'll probably speed this up. Okay, so that's a wall completed. That didn't take too much time. And then, there's not really a whole lot of... Maybe I want this one to be... Whoops. Okay, rotating. I wish right-clicking was a rotate, because that just feels natural for some reason. Uh, but, anyway, uh, I'm going to add this here. Now, in this case... Whoops, that's not even right. <laughs> See, I don't even know why that went there. And then that person's stuck inside. Hopefully they get that kind of fixed. Okay, now can I place it there? Thank you. Okay, so let's say I want... Yeah, this camera just does not want to work. Okay. There we go. Alright, so... Then... I don't really like this openness. Uh, I don't really know what else to put here, though. These are these are all the brick options currently. Uh, let's, let's... I don't know, give it a log-type look. So, rotate once again. Uh, I'll probably speed this part up, too.
Okay, now say in this event, maybe I, let's get rid of that guy. Maybe I don't want to sit here and place this one up at a time. Uh, I can use drag select and this will allow me to uh, hopefully select it the right way, if it would. This is a little bit sketchy too, but anyway, there I can go down and I can copy this and then I can bring it over here and I can just shoot it back. And there we go. Two more walls done and then I'll do it again. And now I'm going to see what happens if I try to do it here. See, the camera just hates players apparently. My gosh, camera. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is going to have to get better. Uh, that's not going to work. Okay. Um, Jeez, I don't know why it's not wanting to go down. Let's do this. There we go. Nope. Okay. It's going to go down. No, it can't. Okay. Uh, uh, close enough. Well, that's that's not where I wanted it. But, okay, let's assume that that's where I wanted it. Now, okay, I'm going to get out of here so I can fix the camera, hopefully. Okay, so there's my house. Um, you know, it deleted that stuff, apparently. This was very well done. <laughs> and now I'm walking through this platform. Okay, then. Is that supposed to happen? I can climb up the sheer wall. I can go straight through this thing. Alright, well, I definitely screwed up big time with that camera thing, but I'm gonna blame the camera on that. So let's pretend that this was the nice square house that I had. It Like, where the heck did that come from? Uh, let's pretend it was a nice square house that I had just a second ago. So, okay, say I want to paint it. I can come over here to paint and choose a color, and then I just kind of click on a brick and... Okay, well, let's paint the tree then, because <laughs> that's what it wants me to do. And then you just click on it and paint them as you want them. Okay, it threw it. I got rid of my two major platforms and threw in a ton of tinier ones. I don't know why I did that. So then I can paint my brick wall and hopefully get over that person who's stuck inside there. And then you can also do the dragon select with the paint. So uh, let's you copy that. Now this dragon select is a little bit odd. Okay, so I'm gonna try to explain it. You click on it and this takes you kind of on the. Uh, would this be the X axis? I think this is the X axis. So this will take you on the whatever the horizontal axis is, and then you can select like maybe one row or a couple of rows. And then once you un once you release your mouse, it'll let you go up and down. So the Y axis, vertical axis, and then you can select that. And then of course you can delete this or you can copy it. Now because this is kind of a failure, let's delete it. And uh, of course you can undo it if you want to. So that's always nice. Controls are pretty cool. Uh, you can lock the access depending on YZ or XY and then you can go through some of these other options and these other pieces now as I said before in the last video you can unlock some newer ones if I can find it here it is so uh, these will be brick builds no that's not it okay props uh, these are some of the more eccentric pieces you might get so like a mushroom maybe I want Let's, let's just turn this into a mushroom hut, you know, from Skyrim or stuff. It kind of kind of looks like that. Then I can come back and, oh, I don't know, fall down onto the ground and big giant mushroom here. Okay, that looked bigger in the, in the thing. I don't really know what that is. Toadstool? Oh, well. And then let's get a piranha plant because you can never have too many piranha plants. Honestly, I don't know why they went with this direction with the camera. It's a little bit infuriating actually okay so uh, that's cool and then maybe I want an oil mill just to stay modern and uh, rich so okay let's get out of all of this and there's my little hut and that's pretty much it for the early access basic buildings of Lego world so thanks for watching I may have more videos if I find other stuff to do here sorry man you got to stay there and that's it for now.